Ace Irons er lidt af en karakter. Han voksede op på en gård i midten af New Hampshire's skov, og han bor stadig i et stenhus, han selv har bygget på sin forældres ejendom. Hans næsten pastorale folk synes at indeholde den klareste forbindelse til et gammelt New England fuld af hårdføre nybygger. Den forbindelse er afgjort et centralt og vigtigt element i den her sok eller New Weird America scene. localized yeah. of anybody you've talked to because you know I grew up right through the woods you know this is this is home base it's a pretty good pair yeah check this out stand real still church bells you know that's my church it's magnified and solidified by my my desire to to stay to stay where I'm from and uh, and to cherish New England as a uh, as a source of energy and a source of inspiration. So much of the elements of it that I adore are 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 the the older elements. You see them in the landscape and you see them in the architecture and you see them in the older folks. You know, one step removed from like a kind of bygone era where people didn't have electricity and they didn't have running water and they didn't have cars, you know, farmers and laborers and you know just yankees you know new england folk i want to retain it and i want to help i want to help guide it that essence into the future without it being camouflaged or deconstructed by the sort of impurities of the modern world and music is an excellent way to do that because it always cuts through the superficial elements of society and it always brings people into a unified space say i write a tune on a guitar and i sing it and it's for whatever reason it tends to come out pretty melancholy or um nostalgic feeling It's because I I can't help but have those those old ties to a real a real pioneer or you know frontier attitude It just comes right up through the feet you know right up into the body and right up through the mouth and the hands When I, well, when I 
think about the points where I really feel like I'm getting at it. I really feel like it's starting to make sense. Um, I tend at those moments to feel pretty vulnerable. You know, not exactly physically, but just uh, opened up in a way. I basically mess around until I feel that vulnerability and then try to slowly weed out of it the uh, impurities or cliches or self-conscious movements. And once that starts to happen, particularly with Psalms, the vulnerable emotion becomes a you know, a, a conduit, more or less how other music I make with the saw blades or with, you know, improvisation, they, I try to reach that same core element emotionally. These, this one especially, and the smaller ones do to some degree, you just have the most amazing, it's, you can... what's around or what happens to be in my path and um, make the most of it and uh, appreciate it, you know, circumstantial relationship. And uh, it's tended to work out pretty good. <laughs> 